What's up guys, this is Yasser, welcome back to my channel, you're watching Yasser's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about some more loose others from the brand Ajman. So today I'll be specifically covering some of their beautiful blends of amber. So I have three of them which are amber blends but before that I'll cover two other others as well which basically come as packed ones. So at number five is Ajmal Kandil. They gave this as complimentary which is a 0.5 ml. So the actual bottle looks like this one. It is a 12 ml sealed pack bottle and it costs around 2000 as MRP but you can definitely get it for discounts when there are discounts running in. Now Kandil is more of a floral blend. It opens up with a nice mix of various floral notes with jasmine, rose and there is also violet flowers as well and it is very nicely blended with amber. In the late dry down you would get a lot of tonka sweetness along with sandalwood and musk as well. So overall it is a floral blend along with amber musk and woody base. So in case you like that kind of blend, definitely give it a try. For me, this is a little too floral and sweet. I don't really enjoy much wearing this. Not that it is a bad fragrance. It is definitely a good blend, but because of my age factor, I've stopped showing my interest towards floral blends, but I will definitely review them for you guys. And based on my testing, this has great performance, three hours of projection if you're indoors and 10 to 12 hours of lasting on skin. So beautiful fragrance with a great performance if you like floral blends. So that is Ajmal Khandil. At number four is Mukhalat CD99. Now this is also a seal pack other. It comes as 14 ml and costs around 1500. This is a 0.5 ml VL. Again, I got this as complimentary. It opens up with a very soft citrus along with some club spiciness. And then in the dry down, you would get amber, rose and saffron. After two to three hours, you would also get musk and sandalwood. And the base really helps this fragrance to last really long. So the opening is a typical Middle Eastern type of blend. You might relate this to classic Oud by Ajmal. I have done a full review on this as well in my previous series. Now there is a slight difference between these two because this one has that tobacco and bit of Oud as well. Some people do not like the tobacco blend in this one. This is minus the tobacco and the Oud. The rest of the blends sort of similar with this one. But the base is very smooth and creamy because of that sandalwood and musk. Performance wise it is mind blowing 2 to 3 hours of projection if you are indoors and a good lasting of 11 to 12 hours on skin. So on clothes it can go above that. So in case you are looking for a good performing other, definitely give it a try. That is CD99 Mukhalat, a 14 ml sealed pack from the house of Ajmal. Now coming to the amber beauties from Ajmal which are from their loose others. At number 3 is Amber A. Now just in case you guys did not know, Amber is not a single note by itself. It is actually a blend of various fragrance. Most of the times they use labdanum, benzoin, vanilla to make Amber. So the Amber in each fragrance can be a little different. It may not smell exactly the same in all the Amber blended fragrance. It sometimes gives a powdery feel, sometimes gives a warm feel, sometimes a little sweet. So it depends on the overall blending. Do not get confused with the Amber note. So here Amber A costs around 1000 for a 6 ml. It is a little expensive. I'll tell you why because this is a beautiful blend of cardamom, saffron and amber. Now the cardamom smells more natural to me so probably that is why it is pretty expensive because natural materials are generally expensive. The cardamom here is beautifully done, smells very natural but the saffron smells slightly synthetic so I am not sure if the saffron is also a naturally extracted oil or maybe a mix of natural and synthetic blend. So saffron, cardamom and amber is what you get in this one. A beautiful blend if you like this kind of a mixture. The performance is also good. Two to three hours of projection in the third hour. It's a little soft and airy and gives a good lasting of eight to nine hours on my skin. So on clothes it may go a little higher but on skin I could get about eight to nine hours when I was indoors completely. So all the performance that I talk about I usually test them indoors so not necessarily that you would get the same when you step outside of your house in the high temperatures. It all depends. So at number two is Amber Ruhul. Now this costs around 2000 for a 6 ml. This is very expensive if you look at the quantity and compare. 2000 for a 6 ml might sound very expensive but I'll tell you why it is expensive. This is again a beautiful blend of cardamom, saffron and amber. 
The blend smells almost similar. The only difference with Amber Ruhul is the saffron and cardamom both smells very very natural to me so i'm pretty sure they used natural extracts of cardamom and natural extracts of saffron blended together with amber so and they have named it as amber ruhul this costs 2000 this costs 1000 amber ruhul has more of the natural extract of cardamom and saffron like i said this has a natural vibe of cardamom but the saffron smells slightly synthetic comparatively this has both cardamom and saffron in the natural way it smells very natural to me and because of the natural materials used here the performance is slightly weaker than amber a so amber ruhul has natural materials and that is why the performance is slightly weaker because natural materials don't really project or last very very long you need to keep this in mind except for oud so this projects about one and a half hour to two hours and it gives a decent lasting of six to eight hours on skin but in a very soft way this has better projection so in case you're looking for projection and performance go for amber a but if you want more of the natural feel amber ruhul is what you can try so i've told you the difference depends on your budget what you want to try I've tried both and I love both of them. So in case I'm in a situation where I wanted to slightly project better, I go with Amber A. In case I'm in a very closed environment and I do not want to smell any synthetic notes of fragrance, I want to smell very natural. Amber Ruhul is what you can try. Now coming to number one, this is my favorite from the list. And remember, it is not more expensive. It is the cheapest among this list. And that is Amber Rose. Okay, this is a beautiful blend of very subtle rose along with some creamy amber. The amber here smells very buttery and vanilla type along with labdanum but beautifully blended with that hint of rose. Now, for those who are scared of rose based fragrance, I mean guys, some guys think that rose based fragrances are all feminine. It is not like that. I do understand I have a lot of these rose based fragrances and not everything is my cup of tea because I also find it too feminine when the rose is too jammy and sweet. This is not like that. So this is totally unisex. If you like rose based fragrance, this is one of the best blends of rose that you can try. The rose is nicely blended with that creamy vanilla amber. And the best part of this one is the dry down after three hours because it projects about three to four hours and after three hours it turns into that beautiful sexy woody base and that woody base i think they have used cedar wood here it is actually very sexy it smells somewhat like amber wood by ajmal i wouldn't say it is a clone of this because this has a lot more notes blended in this one it smells even more richer but if you are on a budget and you love the smell of this one definitely try this one because you're gonna love this a lot if you like amber wood by ajmal so like i said three to four hours of projection and after three hours when the woody base starts this goes even more sexy guys i really love smelling the base note of this one because of that nice sexy woodiness along with that creamy amber and it gives a good lasting of 10 to 12 hours on my skin so after five hours it is only the woody base that you would get you won't really get that amber and rose the rose vanishes completely after five hours so even if you are not a lover of rose you can still try this one try the base note don't miss your chance at least try it if you get your chance to visit the stores beautiful blend of amber and rose along with that beautiful woody base so that is amber rose at number one my favorite from this list i'm not sure if i forgot to mention the rate it costs about 750 for a 6 ml so beautiful blend for that price definitely give it a try so that's about it let me know in case you've tried any of these comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers